Well, hello and welcome to a new video. This is definitely a different kind of setup. I'm actually going to show you my jewelry drawer, which is just right here, and how I organize it all. This is definitely going to be a different vibe today, so bear with me. Let's go! So here it is. So my initial plan was to put my phone on my lamp so that I don't have to hold it and so that the image would kind of stay still, but I can't find the right angle, so this is just gonna have to do. So this is what it looks like. I bought a bunch of these little things on Shein. Now, honestly, I wouldn't recommend them. It wasn't super expensive. It was a set of like uh four different ones so you had one like this one like this one like this and one like that and i think one set was like 10 euros or something like that so definitely definitely affordable it's not that crazy expensive especially since you know with sheen you always have a bunch of offers going on so i didn't even pay that much money um but honestly i'm, I'm gonna show you some of them are a little wonky um, like this one, you know, the thing here is moving. Um, it's just not very, none of it is very straight. So yeah, not the best, um, organizers ever, but like I said, they're cheap and they're quite practical. So I guess it will work for right now. I actually have a few extras that, you know, are not filled yet, but that's just as well. Cause then I have room to grow. Okay. So over here, I have my larger earrings. Now, what I did, generally speaking, is that I sorted my jewelry within uh, colors. So first you see the gold stuff. So here we got the big earrings, the small earrings, and then the rings, and then the bracelets. I only have one gold bracelet. The other ones actually are rose gold. And then when you remove these, so this is usually what I do, you get the silver big earrings. There's nothing on the bottom. The smaller silver earrings and the silver and rose gold rings. Same thing here. You have the silver bracelets and under here you have my watches i bought these at primark they were really not expensive they're not working anymore i only have to replace the the thing inside i don't know the name i could do it i just i never did i'm going to i'm going to because i like these watches uh, in there, these are boxes, I believe, uh, from makeup brushes or like Christmas gifts or whatever. I like to reuse these kinds of boxes because I find them very practical. So in here I have bracelets, like bigger bracelets. I try to sort them like gold, uh, silver. I have these two that I'm going to talk about in a minute. And then in the bag, I have uh, bigger bracelets. There's a bunch of things in here that I had originally decluttered because I'm not really wearing it anymore. Mostly this um, section and these necklaces. Um, I ended up putting them back in my collection because I have room and I don't know. I like to have them just in case one day I I'm, I'm want to do a... I want to take a picture with one of these. I don't know. They're staying there, so these are the big necklaces. These are a bunch of uh, piercings for um, my belly button and my nose, which I should redo, but whatever. These are some chokers. And in here you have necklaces. Same thing, you have silver. And then you have gold and rose gold. So this is pretty much what it looks like. Um, I like it that way. Like I said, these are not my favorite, but for now they will work. Um, and then here on top, I have more significant jewelry. Uh, 
this used to hold my more fancy hair accessories because I thought it looked pretty, like it was aesthetically pleasing, but it just didn't really make sense to only have, um, to have hair stuff in here and in the bathroom. So I actually put the hair stuff in the bathroom with the other ones. And I decided to just display some more sentimental pieces, which it doesn't look super cute, but yeah, I just like to see these. So these, I don't put them in this box because I wear them quite a bunch. These are rose gold. My best friend gave these to me for my birthday. So this says Marraine. It means godmother because I'm the godmother to her daughter who is adorable. And this one means, uh, it says Sœur de Coeur, which means um, sisters at heart, I guess you could say. Um, so this one represents my relationship with the little one and this one, my relationship with my best friend. So yeah, I just, I wanted to show these because I think that they're gorgeous and they are so meaningful to me. But like I said, I do wear them quite a lot. So I just put them in my collection. In here, like I said, more um, sentimental pieces that I don't actually really wear. Um, this is a small summer bracelet that I got with a couple of friends when we went to the beach, I don't know, two or three years ago, three years ago. I don't even remember. Um, so yeah, I keep it. I just, I cannot get myself to throw away these kinds of things. Um, so yeah, I just, I keep it because it was, you know, it's a nice souvenir. So keeping this, this I bought, um, I would say four years ago, maybe, uh, in Spain. Uh, I keep this, uh, because I bought it when I went in vacation with my dad, um, uh, my stepmom and my aunt and uncle. And this is meaningful because for starters, I, you know, I was on vacation with my dad and it's always a good time. And also because my, my aunt, uh, she knew I really loved the symbol. And so when we were going on markets and all of that, she would always point them out to me like, look, that symbol you like. And so, yeah, this is just very meaningful to me of, of, yeah, my family and the link that I have with them. Now this I got when I went to see Britney uh, in concert here in Belgium. It was a few years ago. I believe it was the last time she came to Belgium. I had kind of VIP tickets. It wasn't meet and greet, unfortunately, but um, you could get there early and you had a bag with, you know, a few goodies and you had this in here, which it's not really my style. It's not something I would wear, but I just, again, I cannot get myself to throw this away. So I'm just keeping this here. Now this, okay, this is going to sound very <laughs> weird. Um, this, you see, you can open it. Um, this actually contains the ashes of my grandmother. Now, okay. It's only a very, very little bit. And let's face it, when you cremate a body, I mean, most of the ashes you get are from the wood and not the actual person. Oh, this is, I know this is kind of creepy to have that kind of a conversation, but um, this is something that me and um, my other goddaughter, we both have the same. Uh, we wanted to do that because... Yeah, we just wanted to keep her with us, I guess. Um, I actually don't wear it that often because, I don't know, I like having this. This is very, very, very meaningful to me. But, I mean, first of all, I can't say it's the prettiest necklace I have. And it's just, I don't know. After all, it kind of makes me feel a little, a little uncomfortable. So it's here. It's going to stay here. I'm never going to get rid of it. But um, yeah, 
I feel like this is weird. This is probably something that's gonna have a lot of people be like, what the hell? This is actually a service that they offered um, at the um, funeral home where she was. Um, but when you were going through them, it cost it like a hundred bucks. It was crazy. So I believe it's my daughter that found this online. I don't remember where. And so you had, hang on. Let's, you know, let's be creepy all the way. You had a little kit like this. She did it. I didn't. I couldn't do it. So you have this to open and then you can, you know, you have this little thing. Um, yeah, it's weird. I know it's weird, but I mean, what can I tell you? This is here and it's here to stay. And then here I have a, a few pendants. This one, my best friend uh, gave to me. This one is from Tiffany. This is, um, I went to New York. I went to New York a bunch of times and one year I really, really wanted to go to uh, Tiffany and I wanted to buy something. I wanted to have the uh, blue little bag, which, you know, I did have. Um, but I mean, I was a student and let's face it, it's not cheap jewelry. So I bought this, which was pretty much the least expensive thing in the store. Um, sorry, my nails are a little bit, um, messy. Uh, so yeah, I, I never really wear it, but yeah, it's still meaningful. This, uh... I've had this since I was a little girl, and honestly, I have no idea what it means. I mean, it's a dolphin, obviously, but I don't know why. I don't know when I got this, for what reason, who gave it to me. I, I really don't know, but this is something I've had since I was a very, very little girl, and I should probably ask my mom one of these days, like, what is this? Where is this coming from? But uh, yeah, I just never gonna get rid of this either and this is a gift from my dad that I got when um I turned 12 which I know doesn't make sense but it does to him um so this is a little pendant that I actually had with a gold chain um again I don't really know why but I know that this is something that my dad did for my sisters as well when they turned 12. It's it's a tradition, but I'm not sure what this is coming from. Um, again, I, I should ask more about these kind of stuff. But yeah, it's just something, again, I'm going to keep. And weirdly enough, I mean, I'm pretty sure he explained to me the origin of this tradition and what it meant. I don't remember the content of the conversation but I do remember like I can still vividly see myself sitting down next to him and him giving me this um so yeah again just very meaningful little something and that is it so this is it for my jewelry collection and its organization um a quick note this is all very very affordable uh, jewelry. I buy them at H&M, Primark. Um, there was a, a store here in Belgium called Six. I'm not sure it still exists, but yeah, just little stores like that. Um, I don't really own any um, quality, expensive uh, pieces of jewelry. I never list them in my description boxes when I do a video because I honestly, I, I don't remember when I got them because like I said, they're all inexpensive and I just, yeah, there's not one piece in particular that I know I got from this or that store. So sorry about that. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know it was a bit of a different vibe. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and you can also subscribe to my channel because it's free. So why wouldn't you? And I will see you guys later. Bye.